all equipment as everybody else. So it's something anybody can do. It sounds intriguing, so I'm going to give it a try. So, Andy, what mental torture have you got for me this morning? Well, I'm going to give you this list of words, and I want you to try to remember them. These are the words. Wash, apple, jet, mad, actress, marmalade, jack, van, clock, tile, whole cat, tail, film, pier, bucket, chain, bottle, sand, egg, window, salamander, paper, microphone, cork, piano, dog, captain, tennis, kennel, tomato. <laughs> and you're going to be able to remember it. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I think you might because I'm going to give you a technique that will help. I'm going to ask you to picture two words at a time in a sequence of locations around your home. So I'll give these to you. But then I'll have three things to remember, the two words plus the location. You already know the locations around your home, so a sense of location is going to help you. Trust me, it's not going to add to your problems. I'll never do it. Yes, you will. I'm going to give you, at least until that egg gets cold, to have a look at that list. So I start off in the garden. Wash the apple. Go into the hall where there's a jet madly flying around. Into the dining room where there's an actress. Who's your favourite actress? Judy Dench. But she wouldn't be smeared in marmalade. She would be. Why? So you can remember her. <laughs> For the next five minutes, I frantically try to imagine all these crazy images and think where to put them. The normally quite unexceptional Winston household will never feel quite the same again. Frankly, I'm convinced it won't work. OK, I think that'd better be time up. No. Oh, oh yep. Not long enough. Uh, I've, I've, learnt, I've learnt the first two. That's enough time. I'll never remember that. Well, no, you'll, you'll do OK. Right, I'd better get to work. Okay. See you later. Cheers. Okay. Now all I've got to do is to go through my normal working day. The challenge will be to see how many of the 30 words I can remember at the end of it. you can remember any of the words I gave you earlier today. Well, I'll give it a go. We'll start off outside in the garden. Um, wash apple. Jet mad. Actress. Marmalade. Mm -hmm. Jack Van. Whole cat tail, that's film it. pair. That's right. Bucket chain. Mm -hmm. Clock. Tile. Bottle. Sand. Oh. Okay. Try to remember the room you were in when you thought of those words. Salamander, paper, microphone, cork, piano, dog, captain, tennis, kennel, tomato. How many out of 30 do you think you've got? Mm, I think I probably did them all right. All of them. Well done. So it works. Of course it does. When we use a simple story to memorise facts, we're creating several pathways to where those memories are formed in the brain. It's as if, instead of lining up one set of dominoes, we're setting up several. The reason we often have difficulties in retrieving a memory is because one neural pathway can easily get broken. But by having several different pathways to a memory, it means that if one doesn't manage to reach it, 
another one will. That's the advantage of the story technique. It creates lots of neural pathways in our brain. And all our brains can work in this way. Which is why everyone can use this method. By using a story to memorise facts, we all have the potential to perform astonishing feats of memory.